Wouldn't you like to predict the future? Like, who will be the next president? Well, there's a website that makes more accurate predictions than any I've ever come across, even about things like, who will be the next American Idol? Intrade.com lets people bet on the future. When Jordan Sparks won American Idol last year, thousands of people who bet on her made money. People also made money betting that Kanye West would win a Grammy and that the TV show 24 would beat Grey's Anatomy for this Emmy. The Emmy goes to 24. Intrade is a futures market, just like those commodities markets where people make trades betting on the future price of oil, gold, pork bellies, and all that. But on Intrade, you can also bet on things like politics. Here's how it works. The higher a share price of a candidate, the more likely it is that he or she will win. John McCain is now nearly guaranteed his party's nomination, so his share price today is 95 cents. So McCain's up. That makes people like Bethan and Jonathan very happy. We spend three hours a day talking about politics. At the kitchen table. But I would definitely expect a high turnout to benefit Obama. When they have guests over. She's down 12 points. Even when they're in bed. Well, McCain's up to 93. When I found out that we could actually trade on politics, it was like, what? Why have we been investing in stocks all along? My husband, John McCain. Last fall, John McCain's presidential campaign was running out of money. People said he'd drop out of the race. His share price on Intrade plummeted below five cents. If McCain somehow got the nomination, those same McCain shares would be worth a dollar. It's the first in the fall. As Bethan and Jonathan watched this Republican debate, they saw an opportunity to make money. Everyone was unloading their shares of McCain on Intrade. But we saw something else in the debate. It's very clear to the American people. He had a new confidence, and we think that was like the one day where we said something is totally different. They pan through the audience, and you can actually see the responses of the people, and that's pretty telling. They decided that McCain's chances were undervalued. We sure showed them what a comeback looks like. And of course, they were right. Today, they are tens of thousands of dollars richer because McCain shares they bought for five cents are now worth 19 times that. Now, Intrade is more than just a place where people win or lose making bets. It turns out that because so many people are betting their own money on Intrade, the prices here have become reliable predictors of future events. On TV, all kinds of political experts make pronouncements on what they think will happen. It's a given that Romney's going to win Iowa. But it turns out that the crowds of bettors who make the prices move on sites like Intrade are often right when the people on television are not. So you think John Kerry's going to win? I just think he has a profound advantage. Because In 2004, lots of experts predicted Senator Kerry would win the presidency. John Kerry's going to win this thing. I don't think it's going to be particularly close. Likewise, in 2006, many pundits said the Republicans would win Congress. Republicans take the Senate. I think Republicans are going to still win the House and the Senate. But the pundits were wrong, while... The betters at Intrade collectively called every single race in the Senate right. In other words, the Intrade favorite won in every single Senate race in 2006. James Sirwicky wrote a book called The Wisdom of Crowds. Crowds are wise? Now that sounds strange. Take your torches and go! When I think of crowds, I think of mobs, like this one out to kill Frankenstein's monster. Wisdom of crowds seems like a contradiction. Crowds have a negative connotation, mob psychology. Crowds of people can be incredibly intelligent. Even though no one person in the crowd knows everything, if the crowd is big enough and it's diverse enough, you just have access to so much more knowledge than you do if you ask one expert or even a really small team of experts. You see this on Millionaire. When a contestant's stumped, she can call an expert, usually a smart friend, or... I am going to ask this geographically oriented audience, please. <laughs> she can poll the audience. Now, the experts, they do pretty well. They get the answers right about two-thirds of the time. But the audience gets the answer right 91% of the time. Good job, audience. $60,000. Recently, some people in government wanted to use the wisdom of the crowd to predict where or when the next terrorist attack might take place. When the news broke, there was this enormous backlash. This betting parlor on the Internet is ridiculous and it's grotesque. And so the government, basically, they just ran away from it. This might have been a great idea. 
but yeah. we've lost it because people are turned off. These are potentially tremendously useful tools for improving our national security. It's much more egregious not to use them than to use them. And today, Intrade is used not just to predict political races, but when will the next earthquake come or the next bird flu outbreak? The Intrade market data is used by the Navy. It's used by the Federal Reserve. But still, there is confusion as to how your government would treat Intrade. John Delaney runs in trade from Ireland. He's afraid to come to America because American politicians have passed laws against Internet gambling. If you came to the United States, you might be locked up. I've been told I don't look good in an orange jumpsuit. We're pretty sure that what we're doing is legal, and we hope you're not here to entrap us or... I'm just kidding. We're not, but it's not clear that what they're doing is legal. It sort of sounds like dirty. It's politics and money, and it's very taboo. You know, we haven't tried to move money back yet. In America, we have laws against betting. Right. It's kind of crazy when you think about the fact that the state actually sponsors gambling in the form of lottery. Here are the Powerball numbers. Good luck. Sir. There is no worse form of gambling in the world than lotteries. The state takes a huge percentage of it. The chances of winning are minuscule. So state lotteries are encouraged, but electronic prediction markets are forbidden? Sir Wiki points out that when politicians ban such markets, we lose a powerful forecasting tool. The problem with making it illegal is that it makes them less intelligent, because crowds are smartest when you have a really wide range of people participating. So what's the smart crowd predicting now? Well, on the lighter side, like who will be the next American Idol, the prediction market has David Cook ahead, though David Archuleta's share price is right behind. And will Britney Spears go back into rehab this year? 24% say yes. Thank you, Indiana! But let's finish with more important bets. Who will win the Democratic presidential nomination? After Tuesday's primaries, Hillary's share price has fallen from 22 cents to 9 cents today. Obama's the big favorite. He costs almost 90 cents a share. If he wins, Intrade will pay a dollar a share. And who will be America's next president? The favorite again, Obama. You can buy Senator McCain for 38 cents, but Senator Obama will cost you 54 cents. Let's get to work. Thank you. Bethan and Jonathan will vote for Obama, but their political instincts have them putting their money on McCain. And so far, they've done well. They're ahead more than $200,000. Cheers to McCain. <laughs> yes. Good trade. You too. Thank you. When 2020 returns.